Right now, firefighters are back at the scene of a huge recycling center fire near Portage, the latest on bringing it under control. And with another Republican candidate joining the field of presidential contenders, what's next for the GOP race? You're watching News 3 Now at noon. Good afternoon, I'm Mark Kane. Thanks for tuning in on this Thursday. Firefighters are back at the scene of a massive fire at a recycling center near Portage. Officials say the fire has been 90% contained, but crews will continue to work at the scene today. This is video just into our newsroom. Crews worked throughout the night to control the fire before they were sent home at 4 a.m. to get some rest. The firefighters are now moving garbage around to put out the rest of the hot spots. Chilly today, but warm temperatures returning for the holiday weekend. Let's head out to the weather patio. Meteorologist Jacob Montesano has a look at your certified most accurate forecast. Nice, refreshing day out there today. Yeah, honestly, although the temperatures are in the 60s, it feels a lot warmer. The sun is shining. The skies are very blue, so we're not seeing a ton of wildfire smoke today. And overall, it feels pretty nice outside. Current temperature in Madison, 61 degrees. East wind at 11 miles per hour. That's the big reason why the temperatures are a bit cooler today. The winds are coming out of the east bringing in the lake breeze across southern Wisconsin. But even with that, temperatures and conditions are still very comfortable. 60s, even close to 70 further west, but 50s closer to the lake. As we look at the current wind speeds, a lot of it is coming out of the east right now, 12 miles per hour in mess. And much of our area not seeing very gusty winds, but the winds are definitely noticeable. At times, they could gust up to 20 to 25 miles per hour. But it actually will cool things down. Despite it being in the 60s, the sun, with the sun shining, it feels a lot warmer. During the afternoon, we'll see temperatures rise to the upper 60s. We will continue to see mostly sunny skies, but still cool, especially compared to average for this time of year. But temperatures are going to warm up beyond that. But tonight is going to be rather chilly. We could see lows dropping into the upper 30s. So it's going to be a pretty cold night. The Memorial Day weekend is looking pretty warm. I'll have the details on that coming up a bit later in the show. All right, Jacob, we'll check back later. Thank you. A two-year-old is recovering after a man drove 60 miles an hour on Monona Drive evading police and crashed with a toddler as a passenger. The child was reported to have non-life-threatening injuries and is now with their parent in the hospital. The driver was watching the child and is not related. The 25-year-old Milton driver is facing charges of reckless driving, among other charges. City officials want drivers to plan ahead as a portion of one of Madison's busiest intersections will be closed next week for a construction project. Half of the intersection of Regent Street and Park Street will be closed starting next Tuesday, May 30th, while crews work to install a sanitary sewer. The closure in the area will include no northbound traffic on Park Street across Regent Street, no southbound left turns from Park Street onto Regent Street as well. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis made the announcement last night that many had been expected for months. He's running for president, hoping to win the Republican nomination and take on President Biden in the general election. Natalie Brand has the story from Washington. With his presidential campaign now officially underway, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis heads to key early states, Iowa, New Hampshire, and South Carolina next week. I'm Ron DeSantis, and I'm running for president to lead our great American comeback. The Republican candidate posted a campaign launch video last night, but a much publicized online event with Twitter CEO Elon Musk was plagued with technical problems. It did break the Twitter space, and so we're really excited with the enthusiasm. Former President Trump called the launch a disaster, and President Biden tweeted a link to his fundraising site, noting this link works. DeSantis is selling himself as an alternative to the former president, but Trump remains the front runner in recent polls for the GOP nomination. This campaign has a new ad highlighting how DeSantis previously supported Trump. Isn't it time DeSantis remembers how he got to where he is? GOP presidential candidate Nikki Haley also took aim at DeSantis. The way he speaks, the way his hand gestures are, the fact that he's moved his policies, all of it's copying Trump. As the battle for the GOP nomination grows more contentious, it's also getting bigger. South Carolina Senator Tim Scott joined the field earlier this week, Former Vice President Mike Pence has signaled he could also jump into the race in coming weeks. Natalie Brandt, CBS News, Washington. 
The Supreme Court has made it harder for the federal government to police water pollution. The decision from the court this morning strips protections from wetlands that are isolated from larger bodies of water. The justices boosted property rights over concerns about clean water. Guam weathered its most powerful storm in years without major damage after Super Typhoon Mawar unleashed winds of up to 150 miles an hour and torrential rain on the Pacific, Western Pacific Island. All but 1,000 of the island's 52,000 homes and businesses lost power, but government officials reported nothing unusual in hospital emergency rooms and only moderate damage such as flooding, fallen debris, and down, downed power lines. Many feared Typhoon Mawar would be similar to Typhoon Karen, which flattened most of the island in 1962. Well, there's more to come on News Free Now at noon. Say goodbye to those craft singles. We'll find out why coming up. You're watching News 3 Now at noon. Supporters Furniture Store's customer appreciation sale on now. With a huge in-stock inventory of top brands for every room in your home including all new power lift chairs and always free delivery. The Portage Furniture Store's customer appreciation sale going on now. Fry Construction is celebrating 28 years with a big, big, big anniversary sale. Join us to save 28%. That's right, 28%. Many of your neighbors already know how we strive to meet and exceed expectations with each and every project. That's why they voted us best roofer three years in a row. Experience the best of Madison for yourself with Fry Construction. Act now for 28% off gutters or insulation with any full roofing project. Schedule your free consultation today at fryconstruction.com. As a veteran of our country's armed services, you have already made the ultimate sacrifice. Why should you have to continue to do that? Through no fault of your own, you may be experiencing hardships, such as the inability to pay rent, utilities, or receive other life-sustaining services. And once again, you're called upon by your family to serve and protect. We want you to know we are here to support you. The Veterans Rental Assistance Program was created by and for people living in Wisconsin, with benefit approvals being issued to veterans in just days, not months. It's not easy to ask for a hand up, but we are clear in our mission. No Wisconsin veteran should ever have to face homelessness or lose heat, power, or water again. 833 W I S V R A P. That's 833 947 8727. Memories matter. I think the biggest thing I got out of my service in Vietnam was a real sense of patriotism. I'm very proud of what I did. I fought for you, and I'd fight for you again. This Memorial Day, we remember, and we never forget those who sacrificed everything for our freedoms. We are Crest Funeral and Cremation Service, and we know that your memories matter. Celebrate Memorial Day at Brothers Main, where unbeatable appliance deals come with expert advice. Enjoy special prices and free delivery on top brands like Whirlpool, Maytag, and KitchenAid. Visit us today and feel like family at Brothers Main. It's the Portage Furniture Store's customer appreciation sale on now. With a huge in-stock inventory of top brands for every room in your home, including all new custom sofas and always free delivery. The Portage Furniture Store's customer appreciation sale going on now. The credit rating agency Fitch has put the nation's triple A rating on negative watch. This as the U.S. teeters towards the early June deadline to raise the debt limit. Republican House Speaker Kevin McCarthy told reporters that there was some progress in yesterday's talks with the White House, but still no agreement. A White House spokesperson said the move by Fitch, quote, reinforces the need for Congress to quickly pass a reasonable bipartisan agreement to prevent default. Facebook parent company Meta had another round of layoffs this week. This time, it impacted dozens of workers from Meta's business and operations units, including marketing and content management. The company announced back in March that it would be slashing around 10,000 jobs. 
And the struggle to open those individual wrappers on a slice of Kraft cheese is coming to an end. The item is getting a makeover, which includes a new logo and easier to open wrapping. Kraft says the revamp addresses its number one customer complaint. The redesigned packaging and wrapper will hit store shelves by the end of this year. That's your CBS News Money Watch report. For more, log on to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the CBS Broadcast Center, I'm Chanel Call. Let's check Wall Street. I'm sorry, we do not have Wall Street. Americans are getting ready for Memorial Day, but May 29th also marks a significant day for parents looking to send their kids to college. May 29th is the day when states try to boost interest and participation in 529 college savings plans. Every state offers a 529 and they're usually protected from both federal and state taxes, but fees and expenses vary widely from plan to plan, so it's important to read the fine print. No matter which state's plan, which state's plan you use, there's no tax due when students access the money for qualified education expenses. There's also a big change that makes 529 plans even more appealing. A SECURE ACT 2.0 made it possible for unused 529 funds to be transferred to a Roth IRA account without any taxes or penalties. The new rule takes effect in 2024, and there are some basic requirements to know. The 529 account must have existed for at least 15 years. You can only transfer a lifetime maximum of $35,000, and transfers are subject to annual Roth IRA contribution limits. Now let's take a look at stocks. The Dow Industrial is down 167 points. The Nasdaq, though, up almost 200 points. The S&P 500 up 27. As millions head to the airport this weekend for the start of the summer travel season, the rideshare company Lyft is out with a first-of-its-kind feature at select U.S. airports. Customers can pre-order their ride as soon as their plane lands. The app will then match riders and drivers for the best pickup time, taking into account everything from the walk through the airport to the wait at baggage claim. You watch people at the baggage claim and they're like stressed about the baggage. Is my bag going to get off? All, the All they want to do is get out. So we try to make it so that with our technology and our product and service, by the time you get to that curb, you're walking off the, off the property or driving off. The pre-ordered feature is currently available in Los Angeles and Chicago and is coming soon to Austin, Texas, Kennedy Airport in New York City, and Seattle. The new feature comes as the company finds itself in a rebuilding phase. Lyft stock is down nearly 90% since it went public in 2019 and to cut more than 1,000 jobs in April. Pam has today's egg prices along with Jacob's weekend forecast. And then tonight on Live at 4, we head back to 1985 and visit a man and his one-of-a-kind roses. That's coming up at 4. Have you heard? We've outgrown our space again. Save up to half off floor samples and special orders at Dwellings Construction Sale. Dwellings, interior design and home furnishings. Still Madison's best kept $150 secret. What's at the top of your home improvement list? Did you say better insulation? Because better insulation makes everything you do in your home better. Even just walking in the front door on a hot day. So get ready for summer now with USA Premium Foam. It keeps the hot air out, the cool air in, and your electric bills lower. And right now during Home Improvement Month, our labor is free. You pay for the foam and we'll put it in for free. But that ends May 31st. USA Insulation. Creating family memories is what Maple Leaf Landscaping is all about. We design and build outdoor spaces that bring people together. Landscaped spaces for any size family. Functional, beautiful, a place everyone will enjoy. And it all starts with a free visit at your home by one of our landscape experts. So call Maple Leaf Landscaping today and have us create an outdoor living space for your home. to know what's going on where you live? News 3 Now is always on. Download the Channel 3000 app and get video on demand whenever and wherever you need it. The Channel 3000 app. Get it now. Powered by News 3 Now. Have you heard? We've outgrown our space. Again. 
Save up to half off floor samples and special orders at Dwellings Construction Sale. Dwellings, interior design and home furnishings. Still Madison's best kept $150 secret. On the Jennifer Hudson Show, multi-platinum pop star, B.B. Rexa. When I perform for people, it's like, wait, that's your song? I really want people to know who I am. And Saturday Night Live's Ego Wodum. On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. Tomorrow, Josh shares a jam-packed list of events to fill up your Memorial Day weekend. Plus, it's your last chance to win a first-worn umbrella, so send us your weather photo. And we do have a big warm-up going throughout the weekend into a next week. Join us tomorrow between 4.30 and 7. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Well, let's check in now with Pam Yaki from the Midwest Farm Report. A chilly start to the day. Yes, indeed. Now, you know, what was interesting, I did a story yesterday. I brought up those little insects called thrips that our strawberry producers have mm -hmm. to be particularly monitoring this time of the year. This morning, I interviewed a University Extension fruit entomologist, Christelle Godot. She's in France right now, but she had time for me. She did the research on these thrips, and what she said is when cold weather patterns come in like we've experienced, the bugs, the insects get caught on those wind patterns, and then they basically drop. So the possibility that thrips are in Wisconsin with this kind of a weather front probably has gotten accelerated. So again, strawberry growers particularly, but anybody that's got berries, she said that thrip can do damage and uh, in fact decimate the crop if you're not careful. So monitoring with sticky boards, uh, taking sweeps of your uh, fields, and just making sure that you're keeping an eye on it. Uh, really the only way that you're going to be able to uh, uh, combat them is through insecticides. Uh, not many, nothing natural, if you will. Uh, but like I said, kind of interesting to visit with one of our university extension specialists in the south of France this morning about thrips. We're also talking a little bit about these continued market conditions that are eroding because of the Ukraine-Russian war. One of that is Wisconsin's mink industry. Valerie Zimbel is from the Sheboygan County Mink Producers, and she said that a lot, we're number one in mink production, Wisconsin is. The number one buyer, Russia. And obvious that has uh, not been happening with the Russia-Ukraine situation that's ongoing. So our Wisconsin mink industry definitely suffering with that uh, situation. Talking a little bit about dairy. Today I'm going to be talking about dairy and many other uh, commodities. I'm headed up to Sauk Prairie as soon as I get done here to visit with their commodities group. Barrel cheese today down a penny and a half at 150. 40 pound block cheese dropped five and three quarter cents to 152. Double A butter down another two cents, 241 and three quarters per pound. But like I said, I thought it was interesting. You and I talking about the weather yesterday and today I've got an insect story that <laughs> kind of goes right hand in glove with it. Well, you can't win, can you? <laughs> Yikes, doggone little things. <laughs> All right, Pam, thank you. For yep. those of you looking to live in the most sustainable way, there's now an afterlife as well. A Dutch inventor is growing coffins from mushrooms to enrich life after death. CBS's Ian Lee has the story from London. The creators of the world's first living coffin are celebrating a greener way to go under, and it starts with mushrooms. And I learned that they are the biggest recyclers on our planet, so I thought, hey, why can we not be part of the cycle of life? The Dutch company molds the coffins from mushroom roots called mycelium and upcycled hemp fiber. So what we can see here is the root structure of mushrooms, and here we see all the wires that makes the product so naturally strong. Um, so here you have a piece of mushroom, and this is, this is really hard. It takes seven days to grow a compost coffin, and once buried, only 45 to break down. A layer of moss sourced from a local farm lines the interior. It's estimated every year, burials at America's cemeteries use more than 100,000 tons of steel and over 1.5 million tons of concrete. And this is a shakeup, and this is different, and it's much more, I think, pure. Um, we're not becoming chemicals, we're not becoming burned, um, and we're just being taken care of by nature. For those preferring cremation, there's a mushroom urn that's buried with a sapling sticking out. So when it decomposes, the ashes feed the tree, continuing the circle of life. Ian Lee, CBS News. Interesting concept, to say the least. Here's Jacob now with the holiday weekend forecast. Yeah, it's going to be pretty cool tonight. We actually may see temperatures drop all the way into the upper 30s, but the temperatures are going to rebound very nicely for Memorial Day weekend with 80s returning by Memorial Day itself. And as a whole, we are looking very dry and 
potentially even hot, not even warm, borderline hot as we head towards the middle of next week. But first, here's a look at your evening forecast. It's going to be very nice today, especially if you like uh, temperatures a bit cooler. Uh, 60s will be the forecast at high. We're also going to remain very sunny. But as I mentioned, the overnight hours, it could get pretty chilly. Much of our area will drop to around 40 degrees, but parts of our area will likely drop into the upper 30s. And here in Madison, we definitely could drop into the upper 30s as well, but we're likely going to stay above freezing was just 32 degrees, but still very unseasonably cool for this time of year. But conditions tomorrow are going to be just about perfect sunshine, high temperatures in the 70s, a bit cooler lakeside with lower 60s in the forecast, but definitely get out and enjoy the weather tomorrow and for Saturday as well as really all of Memorial Day weekend. And if you like the warm temperatures, it's going to warm up into the mid 80s for Memorial Day weekend, and it's going to continue to warm up as we head towards the middle of next week, which is also our next chance of summer rainfall. But as far as really the next, you know, five to six, seven days, we're really not going to see a lot. Tomorrow, we're going to continuously see that easterly wind, but it's not going to be as strong as today, which will cause the temperatures to get to the 70s and then upper 70s for Saturday as the winds shift uh, out of the southeast. And then by the time we get to Memorial Day weekend, it's going to be above average again with 80s for Sunday and Monday. And although we will see a few clouds here and there, we're really not going to see a ton of moisture. And then by Memorial Day, those winds are going to be out of the south, which will really increase those temperatures. Now, we're going to be dry for the next, you know, five days for sure. But as far as the next six to 10 days, you know, we're looking to be relatively uh, drier than average. We could see some rain, but we're not expected to see a ton. The wetter than average conditions will stay off to the west. But one thing we will see are those very warm temperatures. Like I said, borderline hot temperatures as we are going to be well above average over the next six to 10 days. Their temperatures are going to continue to warm up after Memorial Day. Upper 80s for Tuesday. 90 is the forecasted high for next Wednesday and Thursday. We haven't gotten to 90 so far this year. Definitely Definitely is possible that we could see our first 90 degree day next week and there also is the chance for some storms but it does look like the chance of storms are relatively light starting Wednesday night continuing for uh, Thursday and Friday. The storms may bring the temperatures down a bit for next weekend but still going to be pretty mild with high temperatures in the 80s. Looking very nice you know if you like the warm temperatures it's definitely going to be nice for much of next week. Now we are still doing our umbrella contest for one more day. You have three more chances to win and if you want to submit a photo you can do it at first one at WISCTV.com or through the weather app. The, we will announce a, new, we announce a new winner every week at 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. So 6 p.m. tonight, 6 a.m. tomorrow, and 6 p.m. tomorrow are your last three chances to win. You know, throughout this umbrella contest, we have gotten some great photos. So I want to thank everyone for submitting the photos. They've been very, very nice. We're not going to need those umbrellas, though, but we are going to need possibly a... Uh, Maybe it, I guess you can use the umbrella to uh, shade yourself. Sunshade. It's gonna be pretty. Yes. It's gonna be pretty hot. Keep the sun off your face. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Jacob. There's more to come on News Three Now at noon. I'm next. We'll see what Howard's working on in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen. Love fish and looking for new ways to make it extra special. We've got a way that you'll go nuts over. News Three Now first warm weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. This right here is confidence in a bottle. Not only does it change you on the outside, but something in the inside, knowing that you're looking better. It makes me feel so much more confident than I've ever felt in my life. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Well, today we're going to see one for ourselves and let you be the judge. It's called Plexiderm, and lifestyle expert Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says this one is for real. This one is for real, and I'm so excited. We even have a video, and you'll notice the model has bags underneath his eyes and some sagging, and all he uses is a small amount on a clean, dry face, and that's how easy it is. All right, what's the active ingredient? Okay, so it's silicates that are minerals found in shale rock, and what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes in as little as 10 minutes, no prescriptions, and very little effort. Even watching the video, this is a real, uh, oh, no. it's a model, but it's a real guy with real bags underneath his eyes. My real true opinion is holy words I can't say on camera. <laughs> this is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It was amazing. It feels good. 
feels great, looks even better. And I did this to my father, we were at home. So we applied it to his under eye bags and let me tell you, we were so excited. In under 10 minutes, they visibly disappeared from view and now it is literally part of both of our daily routines. He calls me every single month saying, hey Annette, I'm out of Plexiderm, please send me more. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. The way you wanna do it is you wanna have a clean, dry face, you use a small amount because it's so powerful. You have high school reunions, you have events you wanna go to, you wanna look years younger, this is it. This Memorial Day is the best time to try Plexiderm at our startup price of only $14.95. Your solution is at plexidermtrial.com or call the number on your screen. It's Steinhoffel's Memorial Day Sale. Right now, save up to $900 on Beautyrest adjustable base sets. Beautyrest Queen mattresses start at only $399. And when you upgrade to a Beautyrest Black, you'll get $300 in Steinhoffel's cash and a $100 MasterCard rewards card. Beautyrest Black Queen mattresses start at just $44 per month when you use Steinhoffel's special 72-month financing. Shop in-store or online at steinhoffels.com. I know from chatting with many of you online and when I'm at events that a lot of you love to fish. For some, it may be deep sea, while others, it's off the dock. Then, of course, there are folks like me who fish every now and then and usually don't have much luck. For those of us who do get that fresh catch, even if it's from the fish counter at the supermarket, let me show you one tasty way to cook it. If it's a smaller lake fish like trout, perch, or tilapia, have it dressed which means the insides are removed, and butterflied, like this. And if it's a bigger fish, then have it filleted. Now we brush both sides with some melted butter, season it with salt and pepper, and cook it on a grill pan for a couple of minutes on both sides until it flakes easily. Meanwhile, in a small skillet, we melt a bit more butter Toss in some sliced almonds, and when the butter is slightly browned, pour it over the fish. Adding a simple butter sauce over your fresh catch is all that it takes. The whole idea is to complement the fresh taste of the fish, not smother it. To get the recipe for what we call our fresh catch with buttered almonds, all you need to do is visit our website. I'm Howard in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a hook, line, and sinker way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. Good. All right, it's time to introduce you now to our pet of the week. Barry is a six-year-old pup who was transferred to the Humane Society earlier this month from an overcrowded shelter in Texas. Barry's a sweet dog who loves to play fetch, especially with a squeaker tennis ball. He enjoys going for walks. He's very good at walking at your pace. He's looking for a home with humans who are teenagers or older who will give him time to play and take him on adventures and work with him on his positive reinforcement training. Last week's pet, Scrunchy, was adopted. That's some good news. If you're interested in adopting, well, not, Barry, what's the dog's name? Barry, or checking out all the other animals at the Dane County Humane Society, go to giveshelter.org. Here's Jacob now with one final check of your forecast. Yeah, this afternoon is going to remain a bit cool, but still very comfortable. Highs will be in the upper 60s, slowly warming up after that. 70s for Friday, upper 70s Saturday, lower 80s by Sunday. And it's only going to warm up from there as well. Memorial Day especially is looking pretty warm, but then 90 possible Wednesday and Thursday of next week. A few storms also Thursday and Friday starting Wednesday night. And then we will see the temperatures drop a little bit for next week with highs back in the lower 80s. But for the most part, we are looking very dry. Those storm chances next week don't look to be very extreme. So the dry weather will continue and the warm weather will continue to start June. I know Pam Yankee talking about how dry it is, but the farmers yeah. are still planting. So it's hold off for a little bit, they say. Then it can rain. Yeah, unfortunately, it's well, there's not a big end in sight to this dry weather. No. All right, that's our time for now. We'll see you back here at 4 o'clock. Have a great afternoon.